Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do, and I'm going to try to be quick, my favorite things that I acquired in 2016. And that is quite a lot of things. Anyway, so I wrote everything down to try and be more organized in my journal here. Look how pretty! <laughs> right? And now, let's get to it lined out so um i went into categories and so i started with um you yes you made the list <laughs> the fritzy family you guys are my favorite thing of 2016. so if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe because i'm part of the fritzy family and um i would love to have you here and don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video okay just do that right now before the video even finishes. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start with things that um, have nothing to do with what I purchased, okay? Um, I received some things this year that I really, really loved. Um, this, for example, was sent to me not too long ago, just a just a couple of days ago I got this in the mail from my fellow youtuber and friend Susan little poet sent me this and it means so much it's a Christmas ornament uh, but we both collect willows and so she got me this one and if you look there's a little boy it's a baby okay and uh, she got this because she could tell that when I talk about my kids how much I love them and so she got a mommy holding a, a a child for me to hang on my Christmas tree every year and you know I will think about her every single time that I put it on there um, sentimental things Michelle my son's um, girlfriend she got me this David stone and on the back it says no problem is too big for God to handle and it's so smooth she got it for me when I went into surgery so that I could have something to hold and it made me less anxious and I just whenever I'm anxious I, I hold this and I, I remember by what it says on there so sentimental things um, the wig that Uniwig sent me from the La Vivid line that is yeah I really love that Carrie wig <laughs> so much so that when it wears out I will probably buy another one okay and the last thing would be my Zara lipstick holder carousel and if you it's too it's too full of lipsticks and too heavy for me to just pick it up and bring it over here and I don't know if it would fit in frames here these artist brushes I, I love I bought the dupe set which was a very good set um, I bought the dupe set to see which ones I wanted to have and hold forever because we're like married <laughs> um, and what I liked the best was the number seven oval and the I think this is the six look how different how small the six is and then this is the seven I am so spoiled by these two brushes that I haven't picked up a beauty blender since I got this. I've stuck with it ever since I've got them. I love these two brushes. My, um, I'm sorry this is dirty, but I do not wash my goat hair brushes very often. I typically keep it for one thing. I use this for bronzing. Um, and so this is my Tom Ford bronzer brush. Love that brush. Uh, my favorite blush brush is the Chica Hodo T4. I love this goat hair brush. Okay, there's three Wang Goss brushes that I have and adore. This, you may not think, what in the world? Who favors a fan brush? But I'm telling you, this is one of the best brushes of life. If you use highlighter, you cannot be without this. And I, I mean, not just a fan brush, it's this brush. This brush, it lays in, look at it. If you have no talent uh, for putting on highlighter, here's your brush, okay? This is idiot proof. <laughs> you just take and go through your highlighter and it just, for some reason, it just deposits the perfect amount of highlighter. So this brush is my favorite fan brush. It's one of my favorite brushes, period. So then the other two that I can't live without from the Wangos line is the number 
too is perfect for getting underneath your eyes with a setting powder and the number three blending brush i love the way this brush gets on and does your crease it's like it spreads out perfectly over your orbital bone and the crease to put the product where it needs to be it's gorgeous gorgeous brush so these three yes i know i'm showing you high-end brushes but 2016 for me was the year of brushes that was what i bought i didn't buy so much makeup as i did brushes because i wanted to invest in good brushes so i brought so i bought myself and invested in chica Horo, wayne goss tom ford uh, artists and different brushes and i am not sorry that i did this line of brushes I use these so much, it's not even funny. I use these more than I use my Chicago and my wing cost brushes, to tell you the truth. Now, um, one of the Fritzy family, Marissa, sent me uh, a travel set. It had a little thing it came in. Now, I'm thinking, um, I'll list it below. They were all double ends. So I'm thinking that these were the ones that were in there. Okay, so they're, they're double-ended brushes. And what makes them so perfect is that they fit, they fit like this in my hand, so I've got more control over what I'm doing. And then I liked them so much that I went too posh on um, when they had the sale at Hot Look, and I picked up, because I guess they're, I mean, they're not expensive, expensive like a Tom Ford brush, but... You know they're not cheap brushes either and i picked up a set at um at holt look and in that set came a couple of other of these little ones so these little posh brushes look how little they are and i love them I finished my ysl ysl became my holy grail foundation and i can't show it to you because i don't have it um, i'm waiting to use up the foundations i have to purchase the ysl radiance awakening but that would i would have to give it to that foundation and then the next two are actually drugstore so i loved and discovered the l'oreal infallible pro glow and the true match lumi both of these made my cut for foundations that i tried and loved in 2016 in addition to the YSL. Next are primers, and I'm talking eye and face. So um, this NYX eyeshadow base, white in a pot. I've used the milk stick for I can't tell you how long. But in 2016, I discovered the NYX eyeshadow comes in a pot. It's the white base, and it's fabulous. Love that. Um, and then the other two are face primers and I have to bring them up here together because I use them together a lot of the time and that would be the YSL uh, blurring primer and the Becca backlight primer love those powder face powder all right so this one was a gift to me from my good friend Kristen Game <laughs> yes she has me addicted to the by Terry hyaluronic hydro powder for putting it under the eyes. This stuff is so finely milled, and what I do is I will take it, and it like almost plumps when you use it. So I will take just a dab. Now when you get this powder, make sure that you do not rip that thing up. Make sure you just bring it up over a couple of the holes, okay? This stuff, can you see that? See how fine, and that just feels like silk. And you can actually take it with your fingers and put it there but I, I usually use this Wayne Goss brush and I just put it right underneath my eyes this is the most wonderful stuff and I try to reserve it for my eyes but sometimes I do come up in my forehead because it just makes lines and wrinkles look so much better um, and then the next thing that I loved in 2016 was the Lummer powder so um, that, if I'm going to use it, goes on my face. Okay, a lot of times I won't use this. But if I do, I take that powder puff and roll it into my pores. So now then we're going to talk about contour. This comes to me late. Um, 
It's the Anastasia Cream Contour. This comes late in the year. Um, Marissa from the Fitzy family bought this for herself and it was too light. And so she sent it to me because she knows I'm very fair. Um, and I set it with this, this e.l.f. palette. This has been, this was the biggest shock to me. I discovered in my e.l.f. review what a wonderful um, contour palette this is. So I will usually put this on now and then I'll set it with this. But I gotta tell you, uh, I don't want, I just figured this out like last week and it's, I actually do like it. Wet n Wild makes a stick and unlike the long comb one, it doesn't like melt away. This thing is actually very good. <laughs> I got it at the Walmart. And for the price, you can afford to go through a stick like this. So this Wet n Wild, and I only saw it in medium tan, and I was afraid of it, but it's actually perfect. It really is. So the long comb stick, I don't think worked out very well. I mean, it was beautiful, but it went away so quickly. It was just in no time flat, you were through the stick. If you used it every day, it'd be gone in a month. My favorite bronzer that I picked up in 2016 goes to Hourglass Luminous Bronze. This is absolutely gorgeous. I was afraid of it at first. I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to be way too much. And it's got shimmer to it. So you would think that it would be too much, but it's not. It's absolutely gorgeous, just like their ambient blushes and their ambient powders. Okay, so let's talk about blush. You know I love blush, all right? So I, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up the Cheekathon. Um, I love the Cheekathon. I love uh, Rockateur. I use it quite a bit. It's convenient. It looks pretty on my vanity. I set it there, and then what usually happens is I will take my blush brush and I will go like this. I'll just come through these three and use them together. That's what I'm wearing today. Team Becca came out with the mineral blushes. So one that I truly love and use a lot is Fox Glove. And I discovered Lara Geller in 2016. I had never used anything by Lara Geller. And this one is Blush, uh, blush and Brighten Berry. And I love this blush. It, it's not as it's not as uh, potent as you would think see it's just very faint but I really like it foxglove is not you you must be careful with foxglove so those are my favorite blushes that I picked up in 2016 highlighter all right well you know what this is going to come as an unexpected surprise. It has to be something new from 2016, so I can't say anything from my Becca line. So I'm going to give it to, and you won't believe this, it's uh, I Am Green Minded sent me some samples, and they gave me a peach and a pink, and I really like this, and this is what I'm wearing today. It looks very sparkly in here, okay? When you look at that, you think, oh my gosh, that is just full of sparkle but it's the most natural highlight, right? This is gorgeous stuff. If I had a wish for them, it would be that it wasn't loose. I wish that they had it in a pressed because I don't really like loose pigments very much, but I do like this. And what I do is I'll tap out a little bit in my hand and I'll take my Wayne Goss brush and go into it and just lightly dust and it gives the most natural not overly done highlight and uh, that's from I am green minded okay ladies let's talk about brow products you ever lost something you truly love this is actually Anastasia <laughs> brow whiz in case any of you are like no that isn't L'Oreal <laughs> Okay, but the L'Oreal is very similar to this. And I'm going to give it to L'Oreal's Brow Stylist. And Brunette is what I wore. Absolutely favorite. It would have made the cut for the best brand new uh, brow product out there. And I will buy that over and over as long as I can find it. It only comes in three shades, though. How silly was that? Benefit came out with uh, a new one. And it's called Goof Proof. Goof Proof Brow Pencil. 
Now what I like about this, it's creamy like the L'Oreal and it's very much more expensive. But what I like about it, and if I purchased it, this would be why, is the end. It's a slanted end that makes doing your brows so easy. You just go plump. It's got the perfect slant on it. So whereas the L'Oreal, I had to like draw the little hairs or whatever, this one here is super easy to use. So I think it's a tie. Uh, but because of price, I will most likely buy the Brow Stylist, unless I can't find it. So my two favorites for the year were the Brow uh, Stylist by L'Oreal and the Benefit Goof Proof. And how cute is that, right? Okay, now I have to talk about Wet n Wild Wax. I have this pencil from Beverly Hills, or Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, I bought their wax pencil. But this, I love, it's, it's wet and wild. The wax on it is so soft. I love this so much more than the Anastasia. Um, usually when I use brow powders, I'll take this and I'll put this on here on my brows. Then I'll take the powder and put it on there. It sticks right to it, makes it look really nice. And I just, for the price, you cannot beat it. So 2016 winner goes to the Brow Shaper by Wet n Wild. Okay, so in 2016, the eyeliner, the new eyeliner that I tried and fell in love with was from Mally Beauty. It's really creamy. Um, it's one that you take a sharpener and sharpen. And this one is in midnight, but I really fell in love with this and I like it a lot. So yeah, I'll give that to Mally Beauty mascara okay so um until this year i was always a fan of and touting and telling everyone else who would listen to me that you need to get lancome sills booster xl eyelash primer don't even bother doing your lashes without it <laughs> then l'oreal the parent company brings out its own voluminous base primer to compete with it they own both companies. What? This is like eight dollars a tube, and in my opinion, it's better than the Sills Booster XL. And if you go through my playlist, you'll find that I have taken pretty much every high-end and low-end primer that I could find up against that, and none of them could beat it. But this one did. So, 2016 brings us the Voluminous Primer by L'Oreal, and. This is the new mascara that I fell in love with in 2016, and it's by Elizabeth Arden. It's called Grand Entrance. All right, so I'm going to tell you that Grand Entrance is a beautiful mascara. Look at the brush on it. Okay, so if Lancome Hypnose Drama and Benefit Roller Lash got together and had a baby, it would be Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance. This is a fantastic mascara, and I insist that you try it. <laughs> the hypnose drama tends to get a little clumpy, even though it makes such beautiful lashes. The roller lash always gave you this fanned out beautiful lash, but it lacked just a little bit of bulkiness, okay? This fills that need. If I were gonna call out a lip liner and say, this is a really good lip liner, I have to tell you that one of my favorites this year uh, for 2016 would come from the Vice line from Urban Decay. And I do have a few of their lipsticks. I like them a lot, okay? But these were my favorite from 2016. So that would be the Tom Ford, in, this one is in Casablanca. I loved this. And I have to give another one to Elizabeth Arden. Several of you in my videos this year asked me, what are you wearing on your mouth? And this was it. Elizabeth Arden Iced Grape. So that's a beautiful, two beautiful lipsticks that were new to me and I fell in love with in 2016. A lip plumper. Okay, guys, I've been looking for a lip plumper that will actually make me burn. Serious. It's like 
I don't know. I must have got immune or something to two face lip injection. Extreme even wasn't kicking it for me. The buxoms, I need my I need my fix. Okay, and this is it right here. Now it takes about five or ten minutes to kick in, but when it does, you'd be like, I felt that. Okay, what it is is soap and glory, sexy mother pucker, and it's pillow top, pillow plump. XXL, the clear one. This, this will work. So what <laughs> I saved the best for last. What palettes did I pick that I bought in 2016 and adore? I mean, we have to we have to draw the line somewhere. So I said three. You're just gonna say three palettes. What are they? But it shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that the KVD <laughs> Metal Matte Palette makes it for me. This is an absolute perfect palette. I'm serious. It has, this is all matte. This is all foil kind of shimmery shades. And you have everything you need in here to do pretty much anything you want to do. It's, everything in here is a winner. There's not a dud in here. So it's huge. It, that's the bad thing is you're not traveling with this. Gosh, I mean, I, you'd be hard pressed any kind of look you'd want to do is in here. Well worth the money. Love this palette. So this is my number one. Okay, so I'm sure that a lot of you are going to think, oh, I know what her number two is. Her number two is going to be the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Because you guys know I waited so long to get it, and then I got it. and oh, oh, oh. But no, here's the qualifications for these palettes. These palettes have to be something I can get an entire look out of. So my number one, the KVD can absolutely get an entire look out of that. The Electric Palette by Urban Decay, I need to use something else with it, like the KVD Shade and Light or something, you know. I can't just use what's in there. That would be clownish. <laughs> so my number two is going to go to the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and I've been working really hard to keep this thing from getting dirty. I think mine's in better shape than some I've seen, but it's getting really dirty. Look at the shades. It's gorgeous. Mattes, shimmers. Oh, I love this thing. It's gorgeous. Oh, last one, number three. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's the Too Faced Bonbon. Chocolate Bonbon. I don't think this thing smells as much like um, chocolate as the chocolate bar did. But that's okay. Yeah. When this thing came out, I was initially drawn to the hearts. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Packaging person here. I was originally drawn to the hearts. But I found that you could get the most beautiful looks with this palette. And I love this palette. Okay, guys. So that wraps up the things that were new to me in 2016 that I loved and cherished. And uh, I'd like for you to tell me below what are a few of the things that you found in 2016 that you loved and cherished. So if you guys aren't having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye, and I'm out. You stupid thing, it's always on here, it's always twisted. I'm a twisted sister. Stay. I'm gonna have to glue you that way. Hashtag World Skaters Rhymer. <laughs> milk stick. That sounds funny, right? Since when does milk come on a stick? <laughs> I thought that this was a good one. Oh my goodness, it needs. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's got a witch's nose. <laughs> Mally Beauty is a witch. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Me burn. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> I need my lips to be on fire. <laughs> Okay, so number two. Who'd I give it to? Ah! Hashtag World's Greatest Rhymer. <laughs> I'm gonna get shirts made, guys. We gotta wear shirts that say hashtag World's Greatest Rhymer. And I love this palette. Look at these shades. Oh my gosh. Why are you singing that? As long as it tastes like chocolate. <laughs> yep, still tastes like chocolate. You know, you can. You absolutely can eat your turban. Your <laughs> You know you absolutely can eat your <laughs> two-faced palettes. <laughs> and they taste just like 
<laughs> it tastes like chocolate. Don't eat the shiny ones. <laughs> they have metal in them. Yeah, yeah, it's like a two-way street. And that is so very neat. <laughs>